There's over 600 mutations now linked to familial cardiomyopathies and we look at kind of the functional consequences of some of those mutations. How are these, these single mutations in a protein leading to a cardiomyopathy that can have different penetrants within a family, can lead to sudden death, um, you know, leading cause for death in athletes is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Imaging comes into play in our workflow at multiple steps. You have to be relying on your imaging to, to tell the true story of how much antibody is really present, you know, for your control versus your experimental animals. It's also really important for me, before I can do anything with my samples, I have to know that I have the same amount of protein in all of my samples. And the gold standard for checking that is to run an SDS page gel, and you have to image it. So the Chemidoc MP is a lot of fun to use because it's really straightforward. Um, it cuts imaging time at least in half, but I like having the option of opening the door versus opening the slider. It makes it really easy to place whether it's a gel or a membrane, and you can open the door if you just need to make a small adjustment. The biggest advantage of the Chemidoc that I really like is having the ability to use the stain-free. And it's 2 minute and 30 second activation of the stain-free gels, and just allows me to be confident before I even do my transfer that my gel ran well. Yeah. You know, with the Chemidoc MP, it just cuts out a lot of steps and everything faster and more efficient.